How was it? How was the front cover of Vogue? How was Fun. That? Harry Styles, dude or not dude? Dude or not dude? You're like cool or not cool? Oh right, <laughs> not up with the lingo. Dude, definitely. Ten out of ten. Yeah, ten out of ten. Hondo. Great guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love him. <laughs> Morning, Emma. Morning. What an introduction. He's very good at those. Now, this sounds very exciting. Um, Orlando at the Gary Theatre from the 5th of December to the 25th of Feb. Um, and, and what's great about it is everything. Plus, <laughs> there'll be more than 10,000 £10 tickets available across the run. Yeah, how incredible is That's that? That's so cool. It's so cool. It's, it's, you know, the fact that 10,000 people will go over... That, that blew my mind anyway, but they're just the £10 <laughs> ticket is because, because that's how many people pass through the doors when you have a three, four-month run. Yeah, how crazy. Yeah. It's a long time. Tell us about the story. Well, it's a, it's a beautiful story. I mean, if you haven't read the book, I'd recommend reading it. It's so readable. I think um, it said that Virginia sort of sat down and it all just poured out of her in like a stream of consciousness. And you can really tell it's this sort of passionate ode to love and freedom and discovering who you are and all the questions that we wake up in the morning asking ourselves, like, who am I and who do I love and... When am I going to get my mince pie hot chocolate? <laughs> Soon. <laughs> yeah. You know, um, yeah, it's beautiful. And it's also a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, Neil Bartlett's written this adaptation. And it's very clever, very witty. And um, sort of, yeah, the alternative Christmas show, I think, probably. So gripping, profound, witty, clever, pithy, you know, gorgeous. <laughs> How do they do it? How do the writers do it? I um, don't know. Honestly, don't know. It's incredible, isn't it? We talking about William Shakespeare earlier on today because there's this in-period portrait of him allegedly up for sale, the only one that in existence from 1608. Whoa. You know, and did he write all those words? Can anybody have written all those words? And he travelled to London and back all the time and he, he was a man of the world and he had, had a family and he ran a business. You know, did he have helpers? Was he the Damon Hurst of his writing day? <laughs> did he have a writing factory with little writing umpa helping him out on a daily basis? But Virginia Woolf, what do you know of her and her story? You, sounded like, you sound like you're a fan. Yeah, I'm a big fan. Um, it was interesting, and Neil Bartlett, who wrote it, came in and um, sat with us the first week of rehearsals, and he's like, he knows everything, and he talked a lot about... He knows about, everything. He knows everything. <laughs> I love that. Like, genuinely everything, I think, ever, ever in existence, but especially about Virginia Woolf. And um, I guess the main thing is that she was sort of, you know, writing and living in Victorian society, which was incredibly oppressive to women. Interestingly, even more so, I think, than the centuries that came before it, which obviously Orlando like goes through as this character travels through time and gender and everything. And um, Virginia was in love with Vita Sackville West. And there are amazing letters that you can read that they wrote each other. And they're so beautiful and so passionate. Um, and I think that it's sort of known, and I think she, Virginia writes about it explicitly, that Orlando was based upon their forbidden love for each other. And so in being completely constrained and not able to have this relationship that they both wanted, Virginia poured out that into Orlando, which is sort of like celebrates every kind of possibility. Yeah. And you and your pals, it's your job to bring these words to life, isn't it? And <laughs> there are so many options, aren't there? With each line, with each scene, yeah. you know, which way do you go? Um, mm. as, a, as a collective, how do you even begin to make those decisions for the benefit of us who are going to come and watch you? Michael Grandage, really. <laughs> you just do what he says. <laughs> do what he says. But he runs a very beautifully sort of generous rehearsal space where he has such vision you can really tell you such clear vision and you always feel safe and comfortable knowing that he knows exactly what he wants but it's he creates this very generous sort of collaborative space where we're sort of all floating around ideas and talking about things until the cows come home and um I think when as an actor you feel safe in a rehearsal space and able to play I think play is at the center of it all and yeah you can exactly you can just explore what feels right and how you say things and yeah. So the 5th of December. Yeah. How, you, how, how does it feel when I say that out loud? It's soon, isn't it? <laughs> Christ. <laughs> I don't know how you do it. I don't know how you guys do it. <laughs> I talk to you all the time. You know, um, stand-up comedians even more so, one microphone and the O2. Right, go, off I you don't go. understand that. I don't Comedy. get it. I don't no. get any of it. I don't get what you do. You're all brilliant at your jobs. Um, where are you with in regards to Blast Off Date? Well, isn't how I'm feeling about it. Generally, just how are things? Well, we had um, we had our, we did our first run-through yesterday, which is always kind of a terrifying moment. Where and was it? What time did it happen? How long did it take? <laughs> um, how many people ended up in casualty? Um, <laughs> how many glasses are broken? Um <laughs> Things came on at the wrong time, wrong lines. Was it in the theatre? No, we were we we're rehearsing in a, a space in Islington at the moment, and um, but it went well, you know. Was it always... cold? 
It's, you know what? It's actually cold. It's always How cold. How did you know that? Because it's always cold. In the, I think I know where it might be. Is it near the post office? I'm not sure. There's a big postal department there. There's loads of rehearsal rooms down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a run of rehearsal rooms. It's just, yeah, it was. it's freezing. We've let these heaters on. But um, <laughs> so I have like a million so, so costume changes as well. <laughs> so, yeah. I think I have the most costume changes on stage that... I don't know if anyone's ever done that many. But, um, yeah, so I'm constantly sort of freezing. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it actually went well. Yeah. So All right, so what, what, after this nonsense today with me, or with us, what, what are you going to do today? We're running it again this morning, okay. yeah. As it went well, you know, it doesn't have to be bad to be better. Mm. Which bits are you going to hone in on today? Timing. It's funny when um, it's the first time you run everything because it's the first time you get to see the, the you really feel the flow of it. And, yeah. uh, and for me, I've been excited for that moment because obviously Orlando changes ages pretty much every, like, t- 10, 15 minutes and also gender sort of halfway through the show fun. and it's fun yeah. so much fun but it was really interesting to see it to, to feel it all running as one thing because I really got to feel those changes and map how I would do them better or so I guess I'm yeah I'm gonna try and f- focus on that congratulations on everything you Thank know you. Pal, who's who knows everything congratulations to you on everything um purple patches are often talked about how does it how do you feel about your career at the moment because you're, you're absolutely smashing it aren't you thank you that's really kind um excited i guess it's it's an amazing thing to be able to are you present are you enjoying it or are you thinking oh this is so good i don't never i never want it to end i'm trying to be more present right yeah stop and smell the roses and all of that yeah how was it how was the front cover of vogue how fun <laughs> so much fun <laughs> right yeah. for people who don't know uh, tell them those when did you get the call how did it happen was um, there any trepidation yeah trep- a lot of trepidation um i was shooting in the u.s at the time, it was like this summer, and I was excited because I was um, being photographed by Jamie Hawksworth, who's fantastic and has this ability to capture people very, very naturally, I think, and with a lot of personality, which is very organic, and I was excited by that. So It's a lovely picture. Fun. Thank you. What do you think it says about you, that picture? If you can... <laughs> if you can observe it yourself, analyse that picture of yourself. That I should probably buy a hairbrush. <laughs> no, it's the opposite. <laughs> No, I don't know. I feel like I look like a very cheeky chap, which resonates. Yeah. I loved it. It felt very me, which I think is always Check nice. it out. If you're listening now, check it out. Check it out. Thank you. Emma Corrin on the front cover of Vogue. I want to talk to you about um, about Harry Styles. Um, I want to talk to you about the new Netflix thing that's on the way. Um, for people who don't know, what did you do with Harry Styles? Um, we where, did where, f- where did you see him last? <laughs> <laughs> we did a film together called My Policeman, uh, also directed by Michael Grandage. He's directing Orlando. And yeah, we shot that beginning of last year and it's out on Amazon now, so you can watch it. Okay, what goes on? Um, It's based on a book by Bethan Roberts and it's about um, sort of a love triangle. Um, These like three people who form a beautiful friendship in the 50s and um, when homosexuality was illegal and two of the three friends fall in love but are obviously not allowed to fall in love because of the laws of the day. Yeah. And then you see them in the 50s and you see them when they're much older and um yeah it's a sort of about wasted time and memory and I wanna watch it. making things right i want to watch it and uh what's going on with netflix and you soon <laughs> soon bum, bum, bum. so soon um a film called lady chatley's lover yeah based on the book by dh lawrence and that's out second of december i think um yeah, and that should be fun. They're doing this thing that they're doing with the new Knives Out film, which we went to go and see, didn't we, on Friday? Um, so it's Knives Out 2, but it's called Glass Onion. Yeah. Um, and the Netflix is doing exactly the same with that as they're doing with your film. Um, so it's one week in the cinema. So it's a massive world release in the cinema mm. for a week and then st- not straight to Netflix, but then available on Netflix and the cinema, which is a, a real... I mean, this has got to be the way forward, hasn't it? So the cinema yeah. goes, want to go and enjoy it there. And I'm glad it is going to cinema, you know, because... There's just something about seeing stuff on a big screen that you can't really I know. replicate. Yeah, but even though, even those of us who love it, and I love the movies, you know, mm. it's funny, isn't it? Because because it does. It's a bit more. It's a bit more frictionful. That's supposed to frictionless, isn't it? Going to the cinema. It's worth it when you get there. But all this gold is in your living room. Yeah, it's a real dilemma. Yeah. Which way do you think it's going to go? I don't know. I, there's part of me that really hopes that cinema survives, and I think it will because I I don't think you can completely replicate the experience of going to see a film. I think that that's something that you want to do right with a friend or for a date or with your family i think that hopefully that survives yeah harry styles dude or not dude dude or not dude you're like cool or not cool oh right (laughs) not up with the lingo dude definitely 10 out of 10 yeah 10 out of 10 hondo great guy yeah 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 i love him (laughs) 
He's a great actor, isn't he? Yeah, he's brilliant and fantastic to work with. Is yeah, he? yeah, really, Did really. Did you hang fantastic. out afterwards? Yeah, we we were told very early on that we had to, we would have to do some swimming in the um, in the sea at Brighton. So we were sort of going to the ponds at Hampstead Heath early in the morning before her. Oh, tell us about that. That's fun. Come on now. <laughs> You've had a lot of fun, haven't you, recently? <laughs> yeah, we um, yeah we yeah. So we um. Yeah, we went there to try and sort of get our bodies acclimatised, I guess, which was quite funny. Um, I think he was much better at it than I was. Um, but yeah, I would also recommend, great way to start the day, just shock yourself into every consciousness. Day? That man over there? Mm. No. Yeah. In the serpentine, every morning before the no. show. Five o'clock in the morning, it just it gives Sorry, you so much... five o'clock in the morning yeah. we're yeah. doing that. And he's not preparing for any role. Definitely not this one. <laughs> it just gives sure. you such va va voom, doesn't I mean, it? Yeah, va va definitely. You can something. cold shower. Do you cold shower? No. That's the thing. Culture. No, you know I need culture, like I to be in a lake and to have it feel part of an experience. Otherwise, I feel like I, yeah. Ten thousand tickets for a tenner. I mean, come on, and it sounds like it's going to be amazing. It sounds like it's going to be really amazing. The Garrick Theatre. Uk for Orlando, at the Garrick from uh, the fifth of December to the twenty fifth of Feb. Um, how um, how elaborate a production is it? How how much money is on the stage? You know, they say get the money on the screen. You know, do you know what I mean by that? As in production value. Yes. Actually, not much i mean like we've um so the whole premise of the um the sort of our version is that we're creating the story and telling the story before your eyes so it, it, essentially it's a blank space does it grow blank stage and then we bring everything on and <gasps> like yeah, it, yeah 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 that's clever. that's clever as well isn't it yeah very oh, clever theater as you go theater on the go theater on the go yeah emma is there anything else you'd like to say to the people listening no <laughs> no <I mean>, no, <laughs> no. Darn them. <laughs> no, please, just thank please you for come. having me. Yeah, and, no, you're um, very welcome. Yeah, buy tickets to Orlando. Do it. Do it, do it, do it. Emma, great to meet you. Lovely to meet you. Thanks so much for having me. 